Uh, Bush and his henchmen are, 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 are revving up the war for, uh, against Iran. What are we going to do about that? Yeah. Well, I tell you what I would do. I would insist on a draft. If we really support the troops, okay. let's get some people out there to help them. And by the way, if we have a draft, we're going to draft the rich this time. Yeah. There is nobody going to... Father could afford the lawyer. You didn't have to go to Vietnam. We must daughter. never let that happen again. It's the number one pretense in this nation. The people who beat the biggest drum for this war wouldn't think of sending their own kids to fight. Yeah. Phil? We have to stop that. Phil? Yes, Phil is right here. Oh, yes. I have two things. One, I think if we have a war, we need to have rationing in this country. And. I'm wondering what, besides casting votes, can we do? Well, I feel so powerless. Well, listen, there are places in this world where if you dissent, you wind up in a shallow grave. That makes our silence all the more damning. We have a constitution which allows us to stand up. There are people on street corners holding signs two and three at a time, getting the bird flipped at them and splashed as cars go by. There have been people speaking to empty seats throughout this entire massive blunder since, uh, since uh, March of 03, which is the date of the invasion. People have been speaking to empty seats saying, this is immoral, it's unnecessary, it's unwinnable, it's, it's unconstitutional. You know, we, this is terrible and nobody paid any attention. We do not see the pain of this war. He said so. Yeah. Yeah. He said so. I know. Good old Dick. <laughs>